Hello friends, my name is Nathan Obert. Today we are going to talk about ND filters a little bit and we are going to do the unboxing and installation of this Haiti rear mounting ND filter onto the Sony G Master 14mm 1.8 aperture lens. And what makes this interesting is the fact that this lens um, is curved in the front. So like I said, this is a rear installation of a ND filter. So if you don't know about this channel, this channel is where we dumb down technology a little bit. We try to um, avoid using too much kind of um, unnecessary uh, terminology that might confuse people. Um, and if we do, we try to really kind of um, make it easier to understand. This is not our only YouTube channel. Um, you'll see that there's not that many videos on this channel yet. Um, Corgly is a channel that we've been posting most of our videos to. It's a uh, lifestyle channel that is about vlogging and following us around as we travel around the United States in an RV. Isn't that interesting? So go uh, check that channel out if you're interested in that stuff, you want to kind of follow us around. Um, but let's just kind of get into this and we're going to talk about ND filters. So first off, what is like an ND filter? What, like what, what is it? Like I keep saying, what, what is it? Um, it's basically sunglasses for your camera. And so then, you know, well, why, why does my camera need sunglasses? That's probably the next question that you have if uh, um, you don't even know what, what it is, right? So um, you spend all this money and buy like a super fancy lens, like one that has like a 1.8 aperture. And what that 1.8 lets you do is it lets you have a very um, shallow depth of field, meaning, once again, more big words, uh, you get to make the background blurry so then the foreground like really pops and I'll put a bunch of kind of example images on the screen for you so you can see what I'm saying. So anyway, it gives you this um, softness in the image um, because you can set the aperture um, so low so it sucks in so much light. So that only works if it's like dark out basically or a little kind of shady. If you are in a very, very extremely bright environment you know, everything's going to be blown out. And so you can't do that as easily because you cannot set the aperture so high. You have to lower it down so then you're kind of turning this, this fantastic lens into just like kind of like a mediocre lens just because there's so much damn light, basically. So, you know, how do you fix that? Well, sunglasses, the ND filter, that's basically all you do. You just put this slap the ND filter on there and they come in different darknesses just like uh, sunglasses. And then um, you put the appropriate amount of darkness on the lens and then that gives you the ability to open the aperture more and uh, and do stuff with a lens that normally is not available to you because there's too much light. So th there's your uh, explanation for why you need them and what they're for. Hey guys, so this is going to be a big mouthful but I'm going to try to explain it to you um, as an example. So right now um, I'm shooting at 24p, meaning um, the video is recording at 24. And uh, to set the camera appropriately for the right amount of motion blur, you wanna double that. So the shutter speed is one over 50, and the ISO is set to the minimum, which is 100 right now in this video mode, um, at full, full 4K. Um, the knob on the top of the camera is set to shutter mode because I wanna lock it in at 50 uh, um, frames per second. Um, so the blur looks right. Um, so that means the camera gets to pick the aperture to get the exposure right or the brightness and the exposure is f11. That is like really not what I want because you can see everything behind me is crystal clear. There's none of that uh, bokeh behind me. Um, now it's like f16. That is like pretty ridiculous. So I'm going to switch the camera mode real quick and then let you see what it looks like with the way that I would like it to look. All right, so now you can see way overexposed. Um, this is f1.8 and obviously way, way too much light. So we need those sunglasses. So I'm going to throw on the ND Equal filter. All right, so this should look a lot better. Um, like I'm not overexposed and um, I have the camera settings that I specifically want. Um, and just for clarity's sakes, um, one over 50 on the speed to get the motion blur right. Then the 1.8 on the aperture. So the background is blurry and I kind of pop out of it a little bit. Um, the ISO is set to 160, and the reason why the ISO is set to 160 is because um, the ND filters themselves, there's only four of them to pick from. You put the one that's in the closest, and then you adjust the ISO um, to match it up. 
So the installation on most lenses um, is really trivial. So this is a Canon um, camera right here that has on it um, a filter. And I'm just going to show you um, what, like what it takes to, to remove it or put it back on. And you can't even tell that it has a filter, um, but it does. Um, you'll see, um, if you look at yours, the inside of the front of the lens is actually threaded. And there it is right there. Right? And this one doesn't have any tent to it at all. Um, but that's, that's all you do um, to put them on and take them off on most lenses. Um, it's as simple as just screwing it on and you're done. That's it. And the lens cap fits on uh, either way with or without the ND filter. Um, they make sure that when, that when you thread on like a filter on the front, the threads are still there for like the lens cap and stuff, um, which is kind of cool. So anyway, so that's how you do it on very simple like flat lenses. And uh, it becomes a little bit more challenging once again when you have this curved lens. So let's go switch the camera position for you guys. Let's unbox the um, other ND filter, the rear mounting one, and let's install it. This is the Heda rear lens ND filter kit that's designed for the Sony FE 12 to 24 millimeter f 2.8 GM lens, which is not, not this lens. Um, however, it also is compatible with this lens. Um, and you can uh, look on the, the website um, the main difference between um, the two lenses on the back of it, um, if you are paranoid, is there's these little screws that are used to hold the little uh, black piece in, which is where the ND filter goes. And uh, on the 12 to 24, there's three screws. And on the 14 millimeter, it only lines up with two of the screws. And the website actually calls out, um, the official HEDA website actually calls out that you only need two of the screws. Um, you do not need the, the third screw um, to install this um, indie kit. It's just a little piece of plastic. It's not going anywhere. So anyway, let us go through and uh, open this up and take a look to see uh, what's in the box. So they give you a screwdriver. Um, this is uh, to remove and install the, the new um, ND filter. They give you this pretty looking little, mostly Japanese looking um, piece of paper. And I don't see anywhere on this piece of paper where it actually says that it works with other lens. Um, so we're just going to have to go with trust um, on the Japanese website. Then um, this right here, pull this stuff out. Oh. At that there's a chart in here there's a chart in here that tells you uh, basically um, what effect the ND filter is having um, on your uh, lens which is really kind of helpful um, if you know that you're at a certain um, aperture and you want to get to another and it's too bright this right here is the piece that we have to replace on the lens um, and here it is here, and like I was saying, um, it just simply a straight swap out of, of one w plastic window for another plastic window. And this one has a little lever on the top that you'll see to hold the, the ND filter in place. And then this little interesting little um, container is actual ND filters that you want to be very, very careful with. And as you can see, um, there's the sunglasses for the camera and there's four of them because they come in different shades so you can determine how dark or how bright um, you need the, the thing to be and the tricky thing not to mention this is if the light changes vastly like if you're walking from somewhere bright to somewhere um, in shadows you if you have one on that's too dark you might end up getting yourself to a point where um, it's too dark so isn't that uh, not fun? When you do this, I do recommend you do this in a dust-free environment. Um, obviously, you're going to have the, the top open for a little while. So anyway, um, there was two things that got me that are noteworthy during this installation. The first thing um, that I did not realize is there is two sets of screws. So there are three screws that are in the lens already that you have to take out. And then there are three screws that are in the new little plastic piece that says uh, HEDA that you have to also take out. So you end up with six screws. 
and the, th the size of the head is different, it seems, on the screws. So to take out the Sony screws, I had to go get a bigger screwdriver. And then um, I think that the screwdriver they supplied was appropriately sized to put the new screws um, in their piece of plastic, and that's probably why they gave you um, a screwdriver, because they were concerned about a screwdriver for their screws, not for Sony's screws. Um, so just like keep that in mind that you need like this, a slightly bigger screwdriver. And then um, when you do the install, also um, take the screws out of the little black piece, um, the new black piece, before you start working on your lens. So then, um, you know, it's all like, kind of like ready to go. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, and then um, it's installed and uh, no problems. So as you can see now, um, we're in the middle of daylight with um, f1.8, super fast uh, speed, 50 frames a second, and uh, everything is working out with a new ND filter. There's no uh, light leaking out of the sides or anything like that. Um, seems very securely mounted in there and um, functional. So um, thank you for uh, making it this far into the video if you have. Um, so obviously please, um, please like and subscribe. That would be just totally awesome if you could. Um, we are going to continue to make videos um, that uh, try to dumb down and explain the purpose behind doing something rather than just um, talking about uh, tech specs and, and trying to talk in such a way that uh, um, novices and, and beginners um, kind of struggle to grasp the concepts. So anyway, um, thank you and uh, we'll see you guys around.